Hi everyone, it's Donna here and I am coming on today to show you a journal I just finished um, just finished this morning uh, this one I've made a pouch for it uh, and the pouch is totally inspired by Chrissy Crosser um, she does a lot of pouches for her snippet rolls and some of her journals uh, this is only the second one I've made, the first one I made um, went to the Defy auction with a bundle of things inside of it um, and it's made out of this pretty brocade kind of burgundy fabric and it is it has a um, flower on the front that I made probably a couple of years ago when I was making um, flower kits, doily flower kits it has this beautiful pearl pearl button. I only have a few of those left, and I'm and I'm hoarding them. And it has some really pretty um, Venice lace trim going down uh, across the front, and it is lined with some uh, lace. And the journal is a kind of a small journal. Fits in there snugly. Um, the journal, this journal, I'm calling Anne, and I will, um, you'll see why in just a minute. I just have it closed with a piece of muslin fabric that looks like it's been rusted, tea stained and rusted. The cover actually was intended to be a cover of one of my friendship journals, but I went in a different direction, so I had this piece laying on my desk for a while and I did, um, decided to make it into a journal cover for a small journal and I did my normal vintage lace and linen collage co uh, cover this one I tried to make look even more shabby um, I added some cheesecloth sticking in and, um, in and out of the different pieces of, of laces I love making these covers. I, I love playing with my pretty linens, my vintage linens. Um, it also has a dangle on the front with a, a lock and a key. This came off of a piece of jewelry and it's just held on with a bulb pin. You can take that off easily. <clears throat> this is a soft fabric cover, collage on the outside and lace on the inside just a little bit. Um, this measures four and a quarter inches this way by six inches this way so it's a fairly small journal but it is it's a, another chunky monkey I just can't help myself and it's got lots of uh, laces laces and linens in it. Um, inside the front cover is a pocket made with fabric that I stamped all things are possible it has a little um, a bee and a butterfly on it and I made a this is one of my cards with the um, lavender from Jacqueline in, that she sent me in my friendship entry so hopefully the the journal smells nice on the front is just a label that you can put what the journal is about there's lots of um, places for journaling here in here. There's 60 pages front and back in this one. It's just a little, looks like a little bundle of envelopes and I made that into a tuck spot with a couple of little journaling cards. All the journaling cards are uh, blank on the back that you can, so you can journal on them. Uh, vintage ledger, ledger page. Here's one of the pockets. Um, that I made that was also inspired by Chrissy. There's a little tag tucked into this front part of the pocket and then a couple of more uh, collage tag with lace. Oh, there goes my dog. And here is a hanky, vintage hanky. This is Anne's hanky and it has her name embroidered on the front and with some flowers and a vintage button 
at the bottom here. And the hanky is folded in such a way that it makes a, a pocket. And this is Ann. Uh, there's a little te a little charm there that says love. And this came out of a an old photo album. It was cut this way. I just left it the way it was with some vintage lace at the top. Um, the tag, <clears throat> the, the hanky, in my last bundle of hankies that I got, this one was in there folded like this already. And I thought, wow, that would make a nice pocket in a journal. So I undid it and I figured out how to how to fold it up. This one will probably go in a different journal because it's already folded. But I knew I had this one in my stash that had the name Anne on it. So I figured I'd use it here and name the journal Anne. And of course that flips up and you can journal underneath it. And on the back side the, the hanky is folded over the top and stitched on and here's one of my little uh, embroidery pieces that I've been making lately that flips up and you can journal. Another um, ledger page. Here is a uh, page from one of my botanical books and it opens up and there's a pocket with a uh, embossed vellum there with a collage journal or uh, journal card collage tag and this just has some little pieces of paper for journaling I do some stamping along here and then a Tim Holtz saying you are capable of becoming more than you realize and this is one of my my words made with Scrabble tiles it says wish it just clips on there and there's some, some vintage lace this is a page from a uh, 1800's uh, reproduction Sears catalog with some vintage lace there. Uh, just a fussy cut flower. Here's another pocket with a uh, stamped word unique on fabric. And tucked in here is another journaling card with one of my pretty ladies with the bird on her hat. And a couple of pieces of vintage lace, and I did some um, some slow stitch to hold those on. They're stitched on. Um, this is a scan from one of my documents from 1870 something. So some sort of receipt. And another tag. This tag was actually gifted to me, and I believe it was from Jacqueline. Um, if that's not correct. Um, if I didn't get that right, let me let me know in the description box below. And I just added one of uh, Tim Holtz people to it. That's just tucked up in there. Um, this is a greeting card, and I just have a little snippet with some uh, fabric and paper at the bottom there. This is just a little piece I had left over from a page from my journal, my 1800s journal that I have. I did some stenciling here. Uh, I made this envelope out of, or this bag out of scan of advertising from a 1902 farm journal. You can see the, the really cool advertising. And there's just a collage tag in there with a fancy die cut shape. Page from a 1920s children's reader, McGuffey's first reader. Has some, some cool animal images. Um, this is just a receipt of some sort. Little snippet up here with some lace. Some more lace uh, snippet down here. Uh, this is just a tag uh, with a tag inside of it. This is a scan of one of my scans. A collage tag there. And then this side has two, two pockets. There's a tag in that one. And a couple of tags in this one with a little tiny, tiny doily on that watch face. 
just clips on there. Uh, inside the center signature, there's some vintage lace going across, and the strings have oops, some, some beads on them, beads and crystals. Um, inside this pocket is uh, advertising for some kind of ice cream with a movie star on the front. A vintage button card with one button hanging on for dear life. And then a collage card that I did. And over here is another collage card with another little journaling card. Place for writing. Yahtzee scorecard. More place for writing. This is just a strip with some fancy um, some fancy machine stitching. Here's the fortune cookie that's in this one with a vintage yo-yo and an antique button in the middle of it. Uh, a little bit of lace on the edge of that. The other side of that reader. The other side of the bag. And I made it into a top. Top. Um, play, uh, pocket. And this is a collage. I was doing a. Taking an index card. And collaging fabrics. Vintage um, laces on it. And then I just put a die cut and a butterfly in. Adventure, adventure awaits you. I like how that how that turned out. More stenciling in the um, ledger page. Here's a pocket with some decoupage napkin and a little tuck spot here with a couple of tickets tucked into it and another journaling tag in the pocket and this pocket is some little doilies and a um, little applique in the center of it and a couple of journaling cards I've been playing around with my die cuts I believe this tag was gifted to me but I can't remember who it came from. It might have been Jacqueline with that one as well, but I'm, I'm not certain. Um, here is a, a double pocket. There's a pocket on the side here with a tall skinny tag. And then another pocket here with one of my Toondex cards, one of the double ones, and this is an image printed on tracing paper. And it opens up. You can journal over here. Another um, vellum embossed pocket with some journaling cards in it. And I just sewed the back so you can journal on the back as well. And that tucks in there. It's the back side of that Sears Roebuck catalog. Um, this is a seed envelope, and this is just a snippet that I did, and I did some snow, slow stitching on it. These red flowers are stitched, and there's some stitching going along here. This you can probably you probably can't see, but there's some stitching there and a French knot. And one of my pretty ladies with some tatting on the edge. And that flips open, and I've got some collage going on here, and another collage tag with some of my favorite tatting down here. And it's a postcard, a place for journaling, some vintage lace, another uh, a fabric flip with. Um, one, two, three, four, five different laces and linens and fabric. And a vintage button sewed on, on the bottom down there. Oops. Place for journaling. Um, this is a Victorian die cut that I put on this dictionary page, small dictionary page. Some more trim there. 
place for journaling. Just I edged this page with a bunch of postage stamps and my handmade by label and in the back pocket as I always do I put some extra papers, blank papers for ease of journaling or to cover up any of the text pages in the in the journal. And that's the back cover. She's very chunky. She feels really nice in the hand. So this is Anne. Um, if you are watching this video and Anne is still for sale, the purchase information will be down below in the description box. And I really appreciate you watching and your comments. And if you found any value in this video, please give me a thumbs up. And that's it for today. Bye for now.